everyone. I have, ah, uh, seriously? Oh, I was going to say, I have changed my light setup. Uh, so hopefully that would avoid the flashing. So let's see how we go. I will endeavor to keep a closer eye on it. I just need to be about a foot tall would be amazing. I have an 8 inch square canvas, so 20 centimeters square. I am using some blended blues, some blended yellows, some blended reds. All of these contain uh, silicon, some trace of silicon, and the white I have just to make it all the same. This has had a couple of drops of silicon added to it also. So, right. I'm going to do a flip cup because what I am trying to work out is can I get those cells that I used to get when using pouring medium PVA um, the easy flow because it was before I got the flow troll um, instead of these flower bursting cells which on large pieces I mean this is amazing um, but on the smaller pieces I don't want those large random out of shape cells like I just want to know if there's a way I can get back to those cells without those ingredients. So, oh, okay, let's give it a try. I have added a tiny amount of PVA to each of these. So whether or not, because I've got that in there, that's going to help hold structure a little bit more, um, we'll see. So. I have everything ready. We're going to use another one of these little, what is this? This is a 100ml uh, cup and we are going to just pour straight in. So we'll start with some white. And then go with some yellow because that will Hopefully that will really stand out with that white right next to it. Go blue. Some of it will blend for a green. And red. Oh, that looked like it had some chunks in it. Yeah. Right. Not a little bit of each. A little bit more red and we're good to go so I'll just let that sit just a moment I'll put these lids on so these blended colors could be a combination of Montmartre paints uh, creative place paints uh, what else is there ELC um, the white is my spring brand house paint. I think that's about the combination that I have. Um, there could even be some house paints in there in the blues, possibly in the yellow. I don't have a reddish house paint, but okay. So this is how it has sat. Let's just flip it over. And how is that going? Sorry, I forgot to check that whole time about flashing. And this is my original house paint pre-mixed that I did add a dash of the PVA into this container because there was only about that much in there. So, maybe I'll add this 
just a little bit around. There's plenty in that cup to cover this canvas, so just to go around there. Alrighty. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release the cup and I am going to torch it straight away. After that, I'm going to tilt. So um, let's see, we're going to see if we can get the uh, structure of the cells by using that little dash of PVA. And we're going to see if we can get large cells by torching straight away, then stretching and them out while we're tilting. Okay, little push. Wow. <laughs> okay, torch, torch, torch. Okay. Certainly got all the colours peeping through those cells there. So because we're closest to this corner, I'm going to tilt this way first. Then I'm going to come here, back here, and back here. So it's like going in one circle. So go straight over. Sorry. Just get these corners covered. Good, there's a bit of red. Alright. There we go, you can see the colours there. Let's see, can you see? So I'm going to torch it again, but this is where I'm concerned that those big flowery cells come in. And yes, there they are. <laughs> There's one right there that's blooming, one there, one there. Yeah. I just don't know about how to avoid them blooming like that. Uh, perhaps in the beginning I was using a pouring medium um, and I'm saving up to get another. I've run out so I'm saving up to get some more because you know it is a little bit expensive. Um, yeah so perhaps this is why I've been trying to actually do pours without using silicon. Because um, I just, this, these are going straight through to the canvas. Uh, let me get you down and I'll give you a look. Alright, so let's see. In focus. Oh my gosh, isn't that terrible? That is straight down to this uh, canvas. And they just seem to continue to grow. Like, and that's why they look flowery. So, which is pretty in its own right, absolutely. But not when it totally takes away from your paintings so yeah oh flashing all right guys um so that kind of adding that little dash of pva i was hoping that that might just uh hold it together enough it doesn't look like it does look at that all right well, 
Soon enough I'll be getting hold of that uh, Liquitex pouring medium or perhaps uh, the global pouring medium. I will see about that but I'll be sure to let you know. So um, I am going to do another pour with what's left of these paints and then I and that will hopefully use them all up. So alright guys thanks for being with me for this experiment. We'll have a little bit of fun again real soon. Alright, bye for now.